Hi, my name is Trevor Sullivan, a Microsoft MVP for Windows PowerShell. Welcome to Microsoft Azure Resource Manager Provisioning. In this lecture, we're going to talk about provisioning in the past, declarative provisioning, and the new provisioning workflow with the Azure Resource Manager API. So let's start off by taking a look at the traditional method of provisioning. The traditional method of provisioning looked like opening the Azure portal, clicking the New button, selecting a type of resource such as a storage account or a virtual machine or virtual network, filling out the details for that item such as a name or type, and then finally clicking the Confirm button so that the Azure platform would go out and provision that resource. We can also use the Azure PowerShell module to automate these tasks from a PowerShell script. Let's take a look at provisioning the new way. If you're a software developer or IT professional, you can declare your infrastructure inside of a code file which is made up of JSON objects or JavaScript object notation. The desire is to deploy this declarative infrastructure out to your Azure subscription. However, you can first put that file into source control. Once that file is inside of your source control, you can perform a deployment to your Azure subscription inside of what's called a resource group. A couple of different source control options you have are Visual Studio Team Services, formerly known as Visual Studio Online, as well as the popular GitHub service, which Microsoft and many other vendors have adopted. So now let's take a look at the new provisioning process using the Azure Resource Manager API. First, you'll author your JSON file that contains a declarative infrastructure for your cloud subscription. You'll commit that file to source control every time that you make a change. You'll deploy that JSON file to your Azure dev environment. Then once you've confirmed the functionality in dev, you can deploy to the QA environment. Once QA and test has signed off on that infrastructure configuration, the operations team can then deploy that same infrastructure to the production environment.